Oh, hey guys, this is Vibe Check! And today we're going to touch a little bit more about how we started in this media industry, which was from Elite Surya. Yeah, so Elite Surya was a Malay reality competition. It was looking for the new faces for TV and it was back in 2018. And we're going to share our experiences in Elite Surya. And how this friendship was formed. Aww. <laughs> okay guys, what is that big why that made you audition for Elite Surya? Oh, yeah. Why? Hmm. Um, okay, I think for me, it was kind of simple lah, really. Um, I was in drama club in secondary school, so I was doing a lot of acting and posting. But I really stopped like abruptly when I went into poly. So when I heard about this competition, I thought it would be a good chance to kind of like do that again. Because I kind of miss being on stage and you know, the adrenaline and everything. But the biggest challenge for, my, uh, for me was that it was in Malay. Mm. Yeah, mm. and the slang skit. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I really like the way she talks though. Yeah, I yeah. love her voice. It's oh. very deep. It's oh, very you deep. guys. Oh, keep going. <laughs> Let me hear how more. Okay, next. For me, um, actually I joined for fun. But um, at the same time, uh, it was in my very first year in Alpha. And there were a lot of struggles and competitors around me. So um, maybe I thought of by joining this competition, maybe can help me with confidence mm. and also uh, meet new friends. So uh, like different new experience for me to go through so that people won't look down on me. Because mm. I've always feel like, you know, I'm like so small, like oh. everyone's looking down on me and they don't believe in me. I feel the same way. But enough, what were you doing like Malay theatre or what? I know, it's English theatre. Oh. I see. Yeah. So the vibe there is really different, you know. Actually, yeah. I kind of have the same problem as mm. well, confidence. Yeah. But the reason why I joined Elite Surya was because I'm trying to push my own boundaries. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to push my limits. And uh, the fact that I'm... Actually, I struggle with stage fright here mm -hmm. and there. So this is actually a good platform for me to try. And to be honest, I did have some aspirations to be in front of the camera ever since I was a young girl. So... That sounds a little bit vain, but... <laughs> but you were saying yeah. stage fright, but you really yeah, like, you can't come. see it though, like you look um, okay. I guess it's my advantage or cutting edge. I have a calm face, but actually I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and well, Chica? it's good lah. I mean like for me, um, I think it's similar because I was always a shy person and I've always wanted to act in Syria, but like um, always didn't get there. So mm. at that point of time, I just graduated from uni and like I thought it's now or never lah. And I didn't want to think of like what if anymore. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah that's oh, true. Yeah, that yeah. resonates with me a lot. Mm. But in uni, was a course related to? Mm, I was always doing like backstage. Uh, yeah, so like oh. I was in yeah I was in uh, bachelor's in arts management. So we did a lot of like theatre work behind the scenes, and then it was a good like experience to like venture out of that. Oh, from yeah. off cam to on cam. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Do you guys remember your first you know day of auditions? What was it like? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. I went oh on the first God. day, by the way. Um, ah, how I do you know which one is the first day? Saturday. Saturday. I don't remember which day I went. I remember that I went reluctantly. <laughs> yeah. I, I really just wanted to get it over and done with. Okay, I think I forgot to mention the part that like, I also did it to please my mom. <laughs> so when I went for the audition, right, I was just thinking like, okay, at least if I go for this, I can tell her like, okay, I did it, you know, like stop, you know. But then when I did the audition, I don't remember how I did, but I just remember that like, it didn't go well. It, didn't, it really didn't go well because like, apparently I was speaking Malay with a slang and then I remember the judges were like kind of mocking me also and replying me like in a slang also like how I was speaking. Oh, no. But to me it's like that's how I speak you know so it yeah, didn't yeah. feel very, um, it didn't feel unnatural but to them it was very unnatural lah. So, but then after the first audition I remember like wanting it so bad. I really wanted it so um, I got called back for a second audition. So I think only, was I the only one who went for a second audition? You guys go for any no, second one? I only went for one audition. Yeah, so the second audition is for, you know, those people with like, uh, potential but like not there yet. So they gave me another chance. So for the second audition, I really put in effort and like mm. make sure that like, I went in with more confidence. Look yeah. where you are now, you know. Yeah. Singapore Live 3.0 host. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Project lit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, not forgetting that. Yeah. Mm, for me... You were in the second batch, right? Yeah, actually, I only went for one audition. I mm. missed the first auditions because... I don't know, I was also half-hearted back then. It's not because I 
don't know whether is this for me or not but more of the confidence part mm. I'm not so sure if I can pull through mm. I think we had the same probably yeah I think did you went first yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah so yeah. how was yours I was like I was like Honestly, I was the first person to arrive on that day. And I was like, oh wow. my god, I don't oh my god, look so, so excited. Right? <laughs> I know, right? And I was like, no, 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 I'm not going to go yet. I'm just going to wait outside. And then mm. like, so I was the second group to go in. Oh, I see. So um, being the second group, I get to watch like the first group go first. Mm-hmm. And then I did something very stupid oh. actually. <laughs> Let me just Tell like, me confirm. more. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so what happened was, uh, we were given like 10 minutes to like uh, memorize the acting mm. script and the hosting script, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, only 10 minutes. Then after that, when, when I went up, you know when they give you an acting script, you're, you're supposed to act just as one person and mm-hmm. you can just choose that role. Okay. <laughs> you acted as uh, what, a few people. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. I acted <laughs> as both people. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. And then the thing is that um, one of the judges actually commented like, um, I think that was kind of weird. <laughs> but like, I like your personality, so like, um, yeah. Let me know more about you. <laughs> so it was really funny. I know, right? For me, um, I went with my theater friends. I wasn't alone, so at least I have company, you know. Mm. But I, I went there, and then after that, I, I was quite nervous, like super nervous. But mm. at the same time, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go there and mm. be myself, you know. <laughs> then uh, I remembered uh, they asked, uh, "What is my showcase talent?" <laughs> so I told them, "Hey, I can talk much much, you know, like much much." <laughs> then they were like laughing, like hell, you know. Oh, like, okay, do a bit for no, us. I can't remember how is it, but they're like, "Ah, uh, you lah, ah, uh, saya boleh buat ni macam very much much." Then um, they, I can imagine. Other than that, uh, I did some singing, you know. I sing oh. uh, Imran Jawa in Young. Hey, I was singing Imran Jawa in during my. Audition. audition? Yeah, yeah. They asked you to sing also. Showcase the talent. How come I didn't have to showcase the talent? Maybe your voice is your talent. Or maybe that's why they brought you back for a second time. You but didn't the second time, so I didn't have to show any talent. Uh, okay. oh. Maybe they already see something in you, yeah. sis. Yeah, so I remember um, they all really liked my audition at time. So I was like, I didn't expect also, but I really, when I go, went for the audition, I didn't expect to like, oh, I'm going to get it. I just feel like, I'm just gonna gonna go with the flow. Like I'm not expecting anything or I want to win. It's just an experience. So Alhamdulillah, you know, I meet all of Aww. these girls. At least you're yeah. not pressurizing yourself. Mm. Yeah. So you guys know that Elite Sura is quite pressurizing, right? Speaking about pressure. Mm. Um, I still remember a lot of things going on during the live shows. Yeah. What is your biggest strength that you think you have? For me I think the only thing that I feel like I nail it is during the um, catwalk, you know, where you yeah. the yeah. F- the opening of the mm. elite. I think that's the my biggest strength that I have, and also during the X Factor because I feel like I can tell people what I am and what I really want and what do I really um, want to tell people during this X Factor. Yeah. yeah, I remember your catwalk was really really good. Yeah, mm. like I like it. Solid work. Yeah. Other than that, natural, yeah. born for yeah, it. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. And just a little bit of background. Mm. Uh, me and Farah was from the same group, Group B. Mm. And then Chika and Atika oh, yeah, were, yeah, yeah, were in the same game. group. So yeah, that's yeah. why the two of us, we managed to sit on the, you know, the front row mm. seats. Watching them. Yeah, watching yeah. them. Watching each other. Yeah, and the funny thing is, right, throughout the whole competition, we never, all of us, <laughs> never got to be on the same stage together. <laughs> never. Because mm. they always segregated us, mm. Group A and then Group B. Mm-hmm. So it was just me and Amira throughout, mm-hmm. and then it was like them. Separately. Mm. So I don't know how this friendship actually formed along the way, you know. Like, because by right, we weren't like together a lot of time. Yeah. 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 But I'm glad it happened. Even like during yeah. the classes, like the master classes, yeah. we were always like separated. Yeah, yeah. yeah correct. Like, into different groups. Yeah. yeah. So the master class was this like preparation workshop mm. that they gave us. I think it was like maybe like three or four workshops every mm. Sunday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, leading up to the actual live show. Mm. Yeah. That was a good experience actually, learning yeah. from the judges, yeah. even learning from external judges like Rila Melati. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Like veterans of the industry. Mm. Who were the really judges? Do you guys remember? Of course. Najib Ali, mm-hmm. Nuraliza Osman, yep. and Kairidin Saharo. Yeah, yep. mm. they were so helpful. Yeah. yeah. And what about then, your biggest strength? Oh, okay. Um, for me, I think I came in with the prior experience of public speaking. So I wasn't really like having that like stage fright that much or whatever. Like I didn't really like struggle with that. My biggest struggle was speaking in Malay. Mm-hmm. But then like having that um experience in public speaking already, I kinda like, you know, was able to balance off a bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Chica? 
Hmm. Legal strength. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't have much strength to be honest. No, don't say that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't say that. Yeah. Yeah. No, you wouldn't be here. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, she she here. Here. No, Shika, I know what's your yeah. biggest strength, but okay, let me hear you okay, from you first, yeah. and then I will like, add in. Okay, so for me, right, um, I work really well with script. So much, um, um, before before the live show itself, we had a lot of like hosting to do. So when we went down, I only had like to do one or two takes for my section. So I really work well with scripts, but there's also a downside to that because sometimes you can really fo- follow a script too much that you become monotonous or like mm. you become like news reporting. So that's a struggle that I have lah. I see. Mm. I think for you right, like for me, based on like what I see, your biggest um strength is that you have a lot of different experiences. Yeah. Like you yeah. did a lot of different things like throughout your whole life, right? Like you were like playing soccer and like you were doing the theatre work and everything. And I just feel like all these um experiences kind of like help you like give, an, like give an advantage in this because you are also able to speak to people uh, better, relate to people mm. better and like just kind of... Maybe more like more emotional. emotional. I think yeah. And I, I remember that she has a lot of supporters, you know. Yes. Because she always have the most likes for her pictures. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Right? <laughs> so it's like something like people really look out for you so you don't look down on yourself. Oh. I guess I have a lot mm. of friends uh, but like when I yeah. get on stage, when I'm in front of the camera, I can like stiffen up like I'm not my natural self. I feel like that's everybody. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah everybody. correct. We need a lot of practice. Yeah, correct. Yeah. correct. Yeah. For me, I guess my biggest strength would be language back then. Um, I'm not saying like it's all rusty right now because back then I was working as Malay tutor. Uh, hmm. I was doing no my wonder. degree. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> why like, I think she came in with the strongest yes. command on the language. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so back then I was doing my degree and I was working as a tutor sideline. Mm. So I get to practice my language, um, you know, my bahasa. So when I forgot my script or something halfway, I can change the words instantly. Mm. Yeah. So even I actually forgot my X Factor script, you know, mm. for, oh my God. for the first <laughs> app, I actually twisted the words. I think I read the third line first. Then I'm like, no, I can't read the second line afterwards because it doesn't make sense. So I just like, uh, saya bagus dalam segala apa lah sahaja. Then I'm like, what? Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, I guess that was my biggest strength. I think yeah. you're like spontaneous mm. maybe. Yeah. Like you can think on the spot, right? I guess also because of the common language. Yeah, yeah. Right. Her best story was so good. Oh my god, yeah. Best story was a struggle for me, you know. Because mm. I had to like translate from Malay to English and then my answers from English back to Malay. <laughs> Malay to yeah. English, Malay. Mine was a big crook, you know. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, because I'm like, when they ask a question, I'm like, oh, okay, what is it? Huh? What is it? But to be honest, guys, I did a lot of research for mm. this. Um, so it wasn't like on the spot I knew the answer. But anyway, I feel like we have talked quite a lot. So why don't we take a short break and we will see you guys on part two of this episode. Be right back. Be right back. Bismillah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bismillah. Let's do this, guys. Chipot. 